Embryology from the perspective of art and medicine Understanding the concept of the body and evaluating. It is a new feature of the compare and contrast feature that can display the valuable relationship between art and medicine side by side with critical thinking questions. Scientists by the critical thinking tool for discovering solutions address the fundamental art and medical field questions and problems. Critical thinking, like a tool, challenges scientists to review for themselves the most advanced and creative problems in the field of medicine and art and their developments throughout history. One of the prerequisites for profound understanding and cognition of the body is knowing how it develops before birth. So pregnancy is a complicated and at the same time amazing process. In human, the growing cell that results from the fusion of the male and female gamete, sperm egg fusion, undergoes many cell divisions. That creates a mass of cells that is called an embryo until the end of the eighth week, and then called a fetus. The appearance characteristics of all the different organs of the fetus begin to develop within one month after fertilization, and in three months, the organs of the fetus begin to look like the organs of a newborn. Note that the cell development of each organ requires a lot of time and lasts until birth. Even at the time of birth, certain structures, especially the nervous system, kidneys, liver, and lungs, are not fully developed. The fetus is normally placed vertically and in a position where its head is in the cervix and its legs are towards the navel. But the position of the fetus changes during pregnancy and sometimes becomes inverted. Mother's blood pressure is around 100 millimeters of mercury, while fetal blood pressure is around 30 millimeters of mercury. The placenta is an organ that reduces mother's blood pressure and makes it suitable for the fetus. This organ is full of blood vessels with numerous branches that lead to a decrease in blood pressure. And then, this blood enters the body of the fetus through a vein called the umbilical vein and delivers nutrients to it. And the waste products of the fetus are transferred to the placenta through two umbilical arteries and are excreted by the mother. Two umbilical arteries and one umbilical vein are twisted together and form a structure called the umbilical cord. In order to protect the fetus from impact and infection, the fetus is kept inside a bag of water called the amniotic sac. In total, the mother's abdominal wall, uterus wall, an amniotic sac together create three protective layers for the fetus, as well as the floating of the fetus also helps it in the growth and development of organs and the spine. Today, the field of embryology revolves around new imaging techniques, such as magnetic resonance imaging, MRI. That allows medical specialists to properly assess all maternal and fetal conditions before any medical procedure. The fact is that the medical information and achievements that are considered medical axioms today and are available to the public for millennia, the deepest thinkers and researchers on earth could only guess and surmise about them. 
artist who made a systematic investigation of the formal aspects of the human body, especially embryology, was Leonardo da Vinci. He wanted to understand how the body works. His sketches reveal a deep understanding of how the body works. His mind was extraordinarily fertile, and he sought to record his experiences accurately. Therefore, the sketches he created of the fetus show many of his objective observations and imaginations in an extraordinary and exceptional way. During da Vinci's time, society was dominated by the religious laws of the church. These laws considered the dissection of the human body a sin or a crime. However, anatomists and researchers like da Vinci often dissected unclaimed bodies, such as criminals, drunks, and vagrants. Those bodies were more likely to be male. As a result, access to female bodies and dissecting dead pregnant women's bodies were considered so difficult or even impossible. In such a situation, da Vinci without access to the body of a pregnant woman and fetus cadaver, with the help of his imagination and objective observations, from the dissection of female and pregnant animals, gets creative. He is the first artist to draw a human fetus in the mother's womb. Da Vinci drew these pictures of the womb and fetus. Around the 1510s, he used the information he obtained from the autopsy of the cow to stage the possible position of the human fetus in the mother's womb. And this may be one of the reasons why he considered the uterus spherical versus pear-shaped. Also, if we pay attention to the womb and the fetus in his painting from another angle, it can be acknowledged that his rendition of the womb resembles an open chestnut casing. Indeed, the creation of such artwork and staging of such mesmeric beauty and spiritual events fascinates and overwhelmed humans with astonishment. The fetus is naked vulnerable, and underdeveloped. Therefore, it is kept inside a chamber with a strong wall to protect it from injuries and impacts, and gradually develops. In this painting, da Vinci depicts the fetus while is completely folded and placed in a round shape, like a precious and valuable pearl in a shell and he presents the evolution of humanity as a fact of ontology. Therefore, by drawing this painting, da Vinci performs one of the most beautiful and miraculous realities of the universe.